<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome. Ah, for, uh, right, a couple of bits. Um, today, first thing I want to say, thank you, Alan. Yeah. <laughs> it came in the post. I've got my little, <laughs> keep my, uh, shavings keep my shavings out of my coffee cup. So <laughs> thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, it says, uh, keep growing. And it's got a little mushroom on the top. Mm. And it sits on the top of your cup and it actually like, grips it so no shavings going in my cup of coffee anymore there you go so thank you for that <laughs> um boot fair day Yay. yes boot fair day so i went to the boot fair look what i managed to grab myself look got some chisels only little mini turning ones i've got some that i have them up there my mini mini chisels i call them for doing little stuff but i managed to pick these up today look i've got a spindle gouge which i must say has been very very badly sharpened i mean look at that god if anyone actually used that they would have been in trouble wouldn't they no eh? look at that so i'm going to sharpen that in a minute so you can see me sharpen it um parting tool again look at look at my, <laughs> i think that was obsessed by long long bevels or something i don't know right so a little parting tool so that was all right um, this one is uh, a sort of like a little pie, so it's very thin, uh, lovely little tools. I've already got one of these that I bought um, a while back here. I've got one, uh, same thing. Um, and yeah, they're, they're brilliant little little pie. They make lovely little pie tools when you're doing the little, all the little work, you know, and spindles, little spindle stuff. They're brilliant for that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sharpen that one up. And then I've got a skew chisel as well there. And look at that guy, it's actually a tapered skew. It's a bit like your Colwyn Way signature one. All right, it's not the same sort of size or handle, but oh, two pound each. <laughs> two pound each, these were, at the boot fair. Look at that. that, two quid each. How can you moan? <laughs> bargain. If you're into pen turning or anything, bargain. So I'm gonna sharpen that up. That's another nice little little uh, 12 mil skew. That is. The focus keeps going in and out, in and out. Does We're it? having a little bit oh. of a problem, guys, with Sorry, the guys, focus. Sorry, guys, problem it's the with the lighting as well. I noticed yeah. that the other day, actually. Yeah. Because when I watched the video back, that actually the lighting was all wrong because it made me look Just, like I had grey hairs. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of redoing it and it's not focusing yeah. it properly again. It's all right now. So it's... It's still a bit bright, It just makes just, me look like I've yeah. got some grey hairs. Don't worry about it, guys. <laughs> just ignore it. So, <laughs> right, so true. I'm going to give those a sharpen. Very quickly, before I start, Joe, Joe Booth, I said to you the other day about um, the jaws. You can hold the two-inch pieces in these and how to do that. And I did say that these would probably hold. They're the long nose jaws, record power. They don't. They don't hold two-inch, okay? They won't go out that far. I think 45 mil is the... the the most they hold but these jaws the i say they're my shark jaws ripple jaws they're called um they're all the same thing they just have different names shark jaws whatever ripple jaws piranha jaws alligator <laughs> jaws uh, you know i don't know grandmother jaws whatever <laughs> no they're just smooth aren't they yeah anyway <laughs> this is not um, teeth. these do hold two inch okay so these are actually because record power don't do them these are the charn wood okay the charn wood nexus ones and they are that's a two by two piece of wood now as soon as you put that in that's said because it grips it right down they really grip well they're little fantastic jaws they are if you want to turn this sort of wood as well for spindles they're fantastic really holds it in there tight okay so those jaws when you buy them okay as I said, they're the Charmwood Nexus. They're only about, I think they're only about 30 some 35 quid, I think. They're really good. When you buy them, though, you have to buy the Charmwood screws, okay? They won't go, oh, your screws won't, won't be long enough. They won't fit your record power ones. So you mu they're only like 3.95 for a set of screws. Um, so, yeah, get the screws. I've got those, and these are the Nexus, Nexus uh, jaws as well, the step jaws. Um... And again, you have to buy the Charmwood screws. They fit straight in. So, and then they go on to your um, Nova chuck or your record power chucks. Okay, all the, all the chucks. So really good, I, I recommend these jaws, really recommend them. They're fantastic, they are. And they've got a nice sharp edge there for when you want to grip those small, tiny tenons. They grip well. So there you go. Okay, I thought I'd just clear that one up because I did say that L2, it doesn't. It'll hold that size, 
which is uh, 45, but it won't hold a two inch. So hopefully that clears up for you, mate. Right. Um, yeah, so first things first, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sharpen these up and see if I can get these. Because that, that one is, that's really, so I think Lisa's going so to go gonna around there. Yep. And I'm just going to quick, quickly sharpen them, guys. Just show you how I will just sharpen them up when I go and buy them. I buy loads of stuff from the boot fairs. <laughs> so, right. Obviously, I've got my thing. So this, I'm going to do, it's your spindle gouge. I'm going to do it in my jig here. So I have this set for... Uh, 50 mil protrusion, which is what I would do this at. I'm just gonna have a go. I'm not gonna take it right back to a full bevel because I'd waste loads of the tool. So, to see what sort of, if I can get a bit of an edge on here. I'm gonna take the corners off a bit. I don't like that um, high edge on the wig, like straight across. On a spindle gouge, it's no good, it won't do you any good. This doesn't heat the tool up at all, it stays cold, look, stone cold. It's only turning at 500 RPM. Right, you can see at the moment, I'm getting a, I'm not gonna, I'm only gonna put a bevel on the end here. I can't take it right back because uh, that's been sloped right back there. I'd lose too much of the gouge, but what I want to do, I've just got to get these wings down. The wings are, are, are way up at the moment, so. It won't take long because this is only a, a thin tool. So yeah, pretty good actually. I've had quite a few from the boot fair just lately actually. I mean one of these ones, what one was it? Sorry, I'm coming right in front of the camera guys. That one, that one came from the boot fair. That big two inch gouge, that was 20 quid for that. At the boot fair. Brilliant, brilliant tool. Sorry, I'm coming right in front of you again. Right yeah, just look out for them. I do like to get a bargain. Right, I'll just keep this over on its edge, just bringing that back a bit, and then we'll use these and give them a little try, see what they can do. It's really nice and sharp, but... It's only got a, like a, a, a one millimeter at the front there, the bevel. The wings are, are back a little bit further. So we should be able to use that one now. So okay. we'll give that a little go. Right, um, parting tool. That's just been sort of stepped right back like that. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna freehand that. I'm just gonna put it on here. This little one, well, that's all right, that only sharpens on one edge. Sharp, that one's all right, that's that done. Now the skew. Right, this has actually been 
been rolled so it's not got a flap on there it's been rolled so I'm gonna just come out just gonna freehand it again just gonna get it where I'm, roughly where I think yep that'd be alright That's that side done. Now we get this side. Just have a look at it, make sure your bevel's going in the right way. That's what I like about this grinding system, see, it's so slow in at 500 that if I was to actually come on and be slightly wrong, it wouldn't take wouldn't take any steel away to make any problem. Right, there we go. Actually, I'm not going to bother the other side, that's sharp. There we go, right, that's done. So, literally a few seconds, and I did show you the other week I bought that one, that's my little, look that for a bowl gouge. <laughs> eh? little, little bowl gouge, that one. <laughs> it's a lovely little thing, lovely little tool that. It's not say I use often, but I keep my miniature That's ones fun. up there. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, I'm gonna go back. Lisa's gonna come back around here. We've got um, Buster down there. Look, he's look, watching. There's Buster. <laughs> there's Buster. Look. Here he oh, comes, here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> little Buster. Come on in. Come around. Come say hello. Go on, go to Daddy. Go come on. on in. Go, with Daddy. Come here. Come on. Go on, Buster. No, he's not going to. He's no. going to stay there. He knows he's not normally allowed in here. Yeah. He's probably we'll wondering why not being told off. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. He's a good boy. Yeah, you stay there then. <laughs> right, okay. I'm going to see how right. they turn. I, I yeah. know I've done a little bird out. I'm going to turn a little, little bird. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I remember. Other things I got from the boot fair. Look at this. <laughs> Bargain. Little, um, another, another potpourri. I'm, I'm getting potpourri things just lately. But again, a pound. Look at that one. Okay, and that, that's brand new. I ain't been used that one. It did have a label on there, and it was just, I peeled it off. It said uh, made in Taiwan or something, or yeah. whatever they all do. Then I, <laughs> you know, but there, another little pewter potpourri. I'm yeah? just adjusting the brightness again. It seems to have. That's it. <laughs> there we go. And then also, for a pound, a clock. Okay, to go in. That's got the rubber ring there for pushing in. And that is a first impressions quartz. And that's a lovely, lovely clock for a pound, guys. So, you know, get, get around the boot fairs, get some parking yeah. for, for your turning. <laughs> so, yes, I might even, because I've said the other, I've got this little bit of, I think, I think it's cherry. Yeah, it smells like cherries. Uh, got some in the fridge. I think, I think that's a <laughs> bit of cherry, but it has got a crack there, so I don't know what's going to happen to that. I might be able to just make a, a little potpourri thing, just just big enough to go and sit in the toilet, you know, on the side in the toilet. So something like that. Right, okay. I'm going to put this little spindle in there. I want to see what those little tools work like. Yeah. How good they are. So I'm just going to use my, like I said, my sharp jaws. Tighten the quarter. There we go, let's get that. Bring that in. Raise that up a bit. Right. I'm just about there, yeah, everything's gonna miss. Right, I'm gonna, oh, get my face shield out. I'm just gonna rough that down the same. I'm gonna use me, one of my little roughing gouges. I'm just gonna use one of these ones up here, look. Just one of me normal little, little roughing gouge, okay? This uh, like 19 mil one. One. Right, okay. Just stand over here, make sure nothing's going to fly out of it or bits of wood are going to spin off. It's going to speed up a little bit. Right, okay. Just going to use my little roughing gouge. Right, again, I'm just going to come in, put my finger underneath. Don't touch the wood because it does tend to hurt a little bit. Just on there and just my thumb behind it. Okay, 
okay. With your hands nicely down. Oh, sorry, Lisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like getting you. <laughs> Buster's done a runner, yeah. and we keep going until we just get shavings coming off, like that, and that lets me know it's smooth then, there we go, nice and smooth, Buster, go on Buster. back boy, right, we're going to just bring it down a little bit here, That's why you've got to be careful when you're coming down on that scoop. Now, it doesn't bother me because I know what it's, I know why it's happening. If you try coming down, you come, it's the same as when you come in with a skew. If you're not on that bevel, it will want to skip back. If I come in, I put my bevel on there, it won't do it. Okay, that's all that is. Right, I've done that bit. So I'm going to use the, I'm going to stay with there with the tool rest at the moment. Use the little parting tool. Clean that end up. Well, that worked all right. Mm. Right, now I'm going to bring it in a little bit. I'm going to see what the spindle gouge goes like. Well, that works all right. I don't really want that shape, but just playing. Yeah, that works all right. Right, let's, uh, where was we going? Try that tiny little parting tool thing. Yep, that can come in there. Yeah, that works all right as well. So we ain't done too bad, have we? Grab it, let's give ourselves a little bit of room here. You know what we'll do, we'll take some of this down. We'll just spindle gouge. Alright, now we'll have a little go with a skew. So then come on, get the bevel first, then raise the handle slightly. I'm going to cut up into there. Yourself a nice little undercut there. There we go. And what I might do is I might take this down a little bit. I'm going to round that over a little bit on that bottom. Just like that. Yeah. Okay, I might, I might just come back here and... There we go. This is a nice, nice rounded bottom bit on that. And then I'll come back in with that parting tool so we get a nice square bottom. Like that. Okay. Now what I want to do is Lisa's going to, no stay there. Lisa's going to pop in my drill. No, I'm still working this side so you can stay there. Now you've got a drill bit in it. Well, what do you want? Uh, the little 6 mil one or something. That one? Uh, yeah, that one I do. Right. Stop the lathe before you do this bit, otherwise you get a big surprise when you put the drill bit on it. <laughs> oh, look at that finish. That's a beautiful fish. Got a little chip there. I'm going to sort that in a second. Right, there's a knot there. There's a little knot there. I'm just going to go in there. There we go, Lisa's going to take that and put that back for me. Right, yeah, so just a tiny chip on that roof there, so we get rid of that. So, just use the spindle gouge, come in. That's gone. So I'm going to just do a little chunk for that way. That's it.
Let's not have all. Right, okay, everything's good there. Now, there was something, I'm just gonna put a bit of sandpaper over this roof. There's something I tried the other day. Yeah, a little bit of sandpaper there. Right, something I tried the other day which was absolutely fantastic. And that was, Uh, in particular, this is quite a bit, bit long actually for this. The 6mm hollower, okay, so the 6mm hollower, all right, so you do all your hollowing for. Well, I've got one here that's sort of going to because that's a bit long that so I'm, I'm only here like this, so I'm going to use one that's just a bar, okay. I don't need a handle. Um, 6mm hollower, right, and it's come in here. Absolutely beautiful for doing beads, doing patterns on the roof. If you want to take your time a little bit more, you can get them all exact. I wasn't worried about them being exact because it's just a pattern on the roof. But there you go. So then, you can come in with me little parting tool here. I'm not sanding it, I'm not doing no sanding. Well, you see, I've done that a little bit, but so it's a bit of a lie actually. But. <laughs> right, that's holding on by such a wee fraction. I'm just going to come in with a skew and take that off. There we go. There we go. And have a look at that, that roof on that, guys. That's done with our six mil hollower. Okay. I'm just taking that little nobble off the bottom. And that's been turned with our, you know, eight quid for all four tools there. Eh? Eight quid. Fantastic. So there you go. You couldn't buy one chisel from the shop for eight quid, could you? <laughs> Get around the boot fairs, guys. Find them. Yeah, so look at how clean that finishes off of that. There's no tear out or nothing on it. Look. And that's with that six mil. I mean, I was using this because the other one's a bit long. I didn't want to have to adjust the handle now, just to show the quick little tear. I could have used the actual, could have used the little mini one actually, because I've got a spindle turning one. Could have actually used that one. So I've there you it's go. got so many tools, I didn't even know what I've got. See, <laughs> could have used that one, but I didn't. I just used that one with it out of the handle. So yeah, the little six mil, absolutely fantastic for doing beading, beading work. You wouldn't have thought that, would you? Mm. Six mil hollower, can do all that little beading. They all say it's so aggressive, yeah, that little cut. So anyway, aggressive. that's it, a very munchkin looking house, that. <laughs> I, I like that. That will go on my village. Yeah, <laughs> very munchkin looking, right. Anyway, there you go, get rid of that. Yeah. Right, can you get lost for a minute? <laughs> crowding me. He's still there, he's still You're there. crowding me. He's still there. Oh, bless him. Still right, so yeah, anyway, so yes, Joe, those jaws absolutely, I would highly recommend that. I'd recommend those, they are a fantastic piece of kit. Those jaws, and as I say, if you buy the Nexus ones, which the beauty of that is, these do because I know, as I say, the other ones do shark jaws and all that sort of stuff. Um, these they're called ripple jaws, they're, they're just the same thing, it's they're, they're probably you know what it is, they're not allowed to call them shark jaws or something, but they're exactly the same thing. 35 quid, I think they were 35, yeah. Um, and then, by, by, don't forget, buy the Charmwood screws. The Nexus jaws will not fit without the Charmwood screws. Otherwise you'll come home, be all excited, and then be disappointed. <laughs> right, I'm gonna turn this little cherry, I think it's cherry bowl, um, potpourri, pot thingy, doobry, what you call it. <laughs> so, actually, I did wanna actually say, guys because now i'm sorry this this well not this week the last 
couple of months actually, I've been getting asked a lot. Now I'm talking about like 10, 20 times a week about doing lessons, people coming and having lessons. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I do not give lessons, I'm afraid. I don't do one-to-one -one lessons. Um, it's nothing, it's just, you know, I've always said before, guys, I'm not, I'm not actually a teacher. I don't teach. I don't really have the patience for it. <laughs> you know, um, mm. Lisa sometimes mm. gets it. You know, she knows mm. what I'm like. It's like I say to you, you know, put the tool there, hold the tool like this and yeah. do that. And people do it. And I say, no, hold the Raise tool the like this and do Raise it. the hand. And I Raise the hand. Hold the tool like that. I don't have patience. It's all right. Lisa knows what I'm like. She knows me. She just goes whatever <laughs> a few chosen words and that's it like you know and we just have a laugh and a joke about it she knows i just say to her if you've got some problem or something yeah. can you not understand can't hear you know it. it goes in one ear and out the other isn't it? <laughs> you know so we we just have a we just take the pee out of each yeah. other so there's not a problem but if i was saying it to, if i was with a stranger i'd probably yeah. be they wouldn't know how to take me anyway but <laughs> Yeah, so I'm sorry, guys. I don't. And and to be honest, I've I've spent, um, I've spent years of teaching. That I've te taught people a lot of, mostly with um, carpentry, carpentry. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. I've got that. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. I had one. So I've gone off track, and I I had one of these uh, a few years back, and I lost it when I moved from my workshop, and I lost it. Um, I picked one up today. I I first bought it. God, it must be about. 10 years ago or eight years ago from Lidl's uh, 11 I always remember it's 11 pound and 11 8 99 or 11 something like that. anyway mm -hmm. I bought one today at the boot fair look brand new not been used two quid absolutely brilliant so I'm glad to have that back because it works really well actually it's surprisingly good this one you get 200 grit 400 uh, 200 300 400 and 600 grit absolutely perfect so if you can get hold of one, guys, they are really, really, really good. And it sits in there, and you can sharpen all your carbide cutters and everything on that. Which I will do another little update on the sharpening one for people that haven't seen the other ones. Right, I think that was all I got from the boot first, so I won't be breaking <laughs> off to do that again. <coughs> right, okay, let's get back to it. We're going to turn this. Um, yeah, so, sorry, the turn, yeah. Um... I've taught a lot of people, years ago I used to do a hell of a lot of teaching in, in work and stuff, um, and I don't do it no more, and I'm, I'm not into doing teaching. I, I do this, I don't mind doing this sort of thing, but I'm not in for one-to-one one -one teaching. I'm sorry guys, it's nothing personal, I just don't. I've been asked if I go and do some demonstrations, and I've turned people down. I'm not being selfish, it's just, I don't want to go, I really don't. I mean, funnily enough, I was offered, and you'll know who you are, it's an Alan, but um, I was offered uh, a week in France. <laughs> I was offered a villa in France for a week for me and Lisa to go and use. And all I had to do was give him two days turning. And I was, That's I'm sorry, no, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to leave home. I'm happy here. I'm, I'm very, very happy with my life. I'm very, yeah. very happy and contented here. So it's nothing personal, guys. When I say no, I don't want to do a lesson. It's just... Oh, it's not for me. It's really not for me. Um, I'm not set up for it. This is my workshop here. This is my home workshop, and um, I'm not set up for it. I don't have toilets and things, and it's my home. So you know, I, I'm not one for inviting strangers into my into my home. So yep. that's it. I'm afraid. Okay, I've, it's me, and Lisa, and our our babies, our our three doggies. Yeah. So right. Anyway, enough of that. Let me get on with this. <laughs> So don't take it personally, guys, when I say no. It's just I'm not really, really not interested in, in doing lessons. So, But I'm quite happy. Any thought you've got a problem, just ask a question. I'll always answer it. I'll always do your little video. I'll do your personal little video if you're yeah. in, and just to anything you want to know. Send us an email. Right, yep, send us an email. But I will I will say, guys, if you do go, and have, I'll grab it in, grab it in, and I? Am I going to do any turning today? I doubt yeah. it. Um, just one thing, if you do go and have lessons, guys, be careful you pick, because some people can. But I'll tell you what, ask, ask, get there, ask a question. Just turn around and say to them, what bevel do you use? If they turn around and tell you, walk away. Okay? Walk away. If they say I use a 55 or I use a 45, 45 or 40, 40, or 
36 d 25 35 whatever they're not the person to be teaching you i'm afraid right okay i'm going to start turning right um i think i'm going to bring a center up because this is on the small chart mm -hmm. just for when i make my first few cuts Right, that's just a bit of security. I'm going to use spindle gouge, okay? And I'm just going to take a few cuts and bring this to I don't know what, I'm going to stand here actually, because I don't know what's going to happen with that crack. It might chunk a bit off, it might not. I'm not going to over worry about the bottom because I'm going to turn that off. So. so I've come in with a, a dovetail there. That seems right. I'm a little bit high actually for this tool. That's better. Right, we'll, we'll take this out of the way. It's not going to go anywhere. Now it'll probably come off and hit me. <laughs> Just to prove me wrong. Right. Now remember guys, I do that with the flute open. Don't do it with a bowl gouge, okay? And don't do it and pull back because you'll get a nasty surprise. You can only do it if you've got your hand off. Now I wasn't going to clean that up, but I'm going to now because I might end up keeping it. Best to be prepared. Yeah, always be prepared. I think I'm going to go roughly that sort of shape. I don't want to take too much off that end because I'd lose the uh, diameter. So, but I'm done with that one at the moment. I need a longer grind to clean up. I need a longer grind to clean it up. I don't know what's there, there's a bit of bounce in there, it sounds different when you, when you come across that. I don't know what that is. Put the handle over that wide. There's definitely something, something different just there. Like that yeah, possibly. It's alright, it's gone now. It's cleaned it. That's cleaned it. So, so uh, let me pull this around this way because I slope up there and I slope down there, so really I need to come that way on this side. That's it. Let's put, move that around a little bit. 
and then we blend the two together. Nice. Do something just down here. Getting that little bit of um, bouncing. That's it. Gone. Can't quite get it. We'll see what it is in a minute. <laughs> I bet it really annoys people, doesn't it? You probably think, why don't I just stop and have a look? Because I know it annoys people. <laughs> Now I've got it again, it's still there. It's reaching. And it's coming up to see like a shade of area there. Just a bit more. Mm. Get rid of it. We'll end up with an egg cup, that's it, it's gone. <laughs> right, there you go, that's the shape I'm going for. Right, I'm gonna do a bit of sanding on it. Yes, I know I should probably stop and have a look, but I'm not going to. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I put my um my slightly longer arbor on here, but I put a two inch one on. It's a bit better because you can actually get your hand there and hold that, look, you can hold it like that. Give a bit more control. Rolling that at the end anyway, that. Right, okay, and when I come to change my pad, if you've got one of these, because I always tend to hold it here to change my pad, and I end up touching that when I'm doing it. Here I can hold the R bar, yeah. and change the pad, and I've got my hand nowhere near the, the makey goey bit. <laughs> The bit that makes it go. <laughs> so yeah, that, that makes it really comfortable actually. I only tried that one and I used it um, yesterday actually. And I thought that feels nice. That guy that come up with those is so clever. <laughs> yeah. You are busted. You get a free lesson, are you, babe? <laughs> right, okay. Turn the noise off for a minute. Alright, it's a bit of sanding seam on that. I'm not looking at it yet. Mm -hmm. I can't stand all that stop, start, stop, start. <laughs> I 
I know I've got no tall grain, I know I've got no flat spots, and I know I ain't got any tool marks. That's the most important thing. What it looks like will be a surprise at the end. <laughs> or a disappointment. <laughs> right, get some sanding sealer on here. Right, that's plugged that straight away, isn't it? That's thirsty. Sand in place as usual. I'm going to keep that. Oh, when I finish, I'm just going to roll that edge over. That's a bit of that sort of kitchen first, up there, please. Oh, thank you. off any excess. There you go. Right, a bit of wax. Find that big hole in it. No, there it is. Look, that's what it was. It was down there. It was that stuff. Look. Right. Well, there we go. That's got a lovely finish. Look at that. It's not bad. It's a pretty looking piece of wood, isn't it? Right. Well, get that off the screw and turn it around. It's on a screw, so don't screw, yeah. don't undo your chuck because it's on a screw. <laughs> Remember that. Right. Quick one, guys. I forgot to mention actually. Yeah. You know, I said the other day about a ring tool. Well, I made myself one. Mm -hmm. Look at that one. Quite a big one, I know, but then, you know, some of us have big things. <laughs> so, there you go. But, yeah, 
Uh, so I've made myself a ring tool. I'll have to do a video on, on use it. But yes, it does work better. So if anyone uses their ring tools, it does work better. If you tore us down here and working on that side, it works better. Ring tools, they go that way, but they can be you very, very thin line between a catch and a, a nice cut. So a lot of people struggle with it. But that way, there, and work down out there. Perfect. Just same as, use it same as a hook tool. Which basically is a hook tool without the, the gap, hook. without the hook, without the gap. <laughs> so there you go. Same thing. But yes, works like that. I made one up. So I see that. That was straight to, again, I don't know who the guy is. It's someone on YouTube. Makes a, that's actually a, a ball bearing, that circle there. And that is actually, I said before, I bought some of those crappy ones, um, life centers and... It's these, they have two ball bearings on the end when you take that cone bit comes off. And I took them off of one of the other ones I had and then I used the the ring from that, which is, as you'll know, bearings, that's a very hardened steel. And I welded it on the end of a 16 mil bar, sharpened it up and it's like a razor and it works lovely. Brilliant. <laughs> So there you go, guys. Just uh, a little one. I'll have to do that on a uh, on a video. I'll use that when I've got some wet wood because again, it works better with wet wood, uh, um, and it works better with, well, not just wet wood, end grain. It works better with end grain, and you don't want like you don't want something that's really hard like you and stuff like that. It, it's it tends they tend to screech quite a bit and they get a bit. They do it, but it's not the best for them. Nice bit of wet wood is what's good. So right, let's take this off. Right, so there we go, guys. Look at that. Look at that finish on that. That was quite nice. See, I kept getting that bit with that. I kept getting it, and it's just persist. Persist with it. Don't think, oh, well, I'll sand that out. Persist. I mean, we sanded it. Nothing wrong with sanding it. But I had to cut it out first. So get it nice with the tool. And just persistence. Keep going at it until you get it right. There is a way to get it. Play about, tall rests, height and everything like that. Play about with it and you'll get there. Right, okay. I'm still, you know, this was only going to be like a quick 10 minute video. Quick video, and, you said quick video. Uh, all these questions I get asked and things like that. Well, they don't, but it does in my mind. <laughs> the little things I think about, <laughs> see. <laughs> when I'm turning, I, I come up with, I'll, I'll think of these things that I, I, I think I should say. And then I'll say, <laughs> right, okay, what size? I don't know what size. What I really want it to, I think it's going to have to be this one. It doesn't really matter because, like I said, I'm going to turn the foot at the end. I'm going to make it a bit different to that. So, yeah, that's all right. That's probably going to be near perfect circle there, looking at that. Let me just get it to open up so it drops in. It's not perfect circle, but it's not going to matter because I've I've got it and it's only a small there tight and a uh, not even a quarter tight and a I'll go for I'll go for another eighth because that's tight and an eighth there. That's a quarter. <laughs> another eighth and that makes a quarter. Right, okay, let's um, hollow that out. But what we do because there's a little bit of I didn't do nothing with the front. I'm gonna. Trim that front up first, take a few cuts, then I'll get my size for my Dubri thingy bob. And then we'll sort that out. Right, okay. Let's do it. Let's go. Start her up, step to the side. She's going to fly off. Yeah, Rick Lisa, not me. <laughs> right, okay, I'm going to get that out of the way. I'm going to use the six mil. A little six mil hollower first, just to come across. Just want to get rid of that little bit on the edge there. Don't really, I just like playing with this one. 
This is such a fantastic little, oh, it's absolutely brilliant. It really is fantastic. Right, okay, so now I've got to get that, which ain't going to be the easiest because the, if there's three of them, um, I've got to try and find out where that's happening. That's not the best, actually. I don't know why. Oh, that was another thing I got from the boot fair. Oh, look at these. Little stinky ones. Look. Bless. Hey? Eh? I actually got that with, with the chisels that I've got that one, so that was alright. Pretty good. Enough about that. Right, okay. Let's stop rabbit in and just I don't really know where how I'm gonna work this out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do a small hole. Now, looking at it, I would say that's going to be small, um, and then I'll go bigger from that. Because I can't really, because it's only got the three little legs, uh, it's very hard for me to say where that's going to be. Right, and that's all I'm going to do at the moment. And I'm going to have a look. This will give me an idea of roughly where where it is. Right, yes, yeah, so I've got two in, but not the third. So, right, looking at that, that's about a uh, about a farthing with a little bit of change. And remember, when you think you've got a, a mill to take off, you only take off half a mill, because it's taking off half a mill all round. Seems funny, but it's how it works. There we... Did that go in? I think so, yeah, because I haven't actually done it deep enough, so... I think... Yeah, look, look, no movement. That's gone in, no movement. Aha! We've got it. See? Five in and a little bit of change. <laughs> That's what that was. Right, so I'm going to make that a little bit deeper there because that's going to be my hole. Right, and I can't come any more than that. So. Now remember, what have you got to remember? This is bowl orientation. So that means what? That's the outside in. That's it. All our cuts go into the centre. We don't come from the centre out. Okay, because that leaves you rough. If you was turning um maybe in the centre. Slightly high. If you was turning a cove on a spindle, you would go from the outside in and the outside in. You wouldn't go from the inside out. So don't do it on this. End grain totally different. You are there, Buster? <laughs> well, I still get this bit here, guys. So. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to get covered in shavings, isn't he? Now remember, as you come down to the bottom, we go up and we cut down. Okay, if you want to take another bit, go up and down. Up and down. Right. I'm now going to come off of this for a minute because, oh it's lovely finish, I want to undercut that a little bit in there, I want to go in there, I can't get in there with this one, I can if I go this way, so 
So we can undercut if we go that way, but that won't be the best of finish, see? So I'm only going to go a little bit. Now Buster, come in here. Where are you up to, Buster? Right, I'm only going to go in a little bit and then leave myself enough to come in with a different tool to clean it because coming that way, like I said, won't be a nice finish. It won't be a nice finish at all. So I'm going to just point that around there because I want to go in that way. And then I'm going to use the box on it for that. He says, yep, there it is. So I'm going to use the no, no, number one box solar, nine mil cutter, okay? Just grabbing a little bit there, I'm at, I'm on center, yeah, I'm on center. Just grabbing that little bit as I'm coming down there, that's all. So, just got rid of some of that stuff. Because I had a, I had like a little step down there, but this is the problem, look. I'm getting all this filling up. But as I come round, well done with the other one, I had a little step in there, so it was just catching until I got that rid of that. Now that's gone. No, it's still there a little bit, see? It's just caught. Let me come round this way. It's just catching where the part was up. That's it, it's gone now. Lovely and smooth. Right. But obviously, because I'm round there, I can't roll it and go that way. It won't allow me. Let's come round here with this. I'll put a light on. Is that alright? That's not your way, is it? So I can roll over here. Which will give me a nice finish. So as I come down here, the cutter's up. Can't come onto that bottom. So I've got to change it and come round that way. So I've got to, from back cutting, I've then got to change it and go that way and go that way round. Otherwise I'll get a cat. And we don't want no catches. So if you want a clean finish, roll it. If you're not bothered, then don't. <laughs> right, I'm a little bit high. So you remember I said, if you go in, if you can push it straight on the bottom, and it won't move, but that wants to move, see, it wants to go that way. That's because I'm not dead, centre's just down there. When you're dead on centre, you can put it in like that and just leave it, and it won't move anywhere. If it's not centre, it will want to travel. Tip of the day. Nice light cut like that. That gives us it's got a little dip in the middle, but I've got I've still got a bit of depth actually. I don't know why I'm worrying about that. Right, let's get some depth. a little bit depth taken away yeah yeah so because of its shape we've got to do two different sort of cuts here let's get some of that out clean that out I'm going to go in flat at the moment just to get this curve I want to really undercut this, but I come Don't in quite. Don't go too thin. Huh? Don't go too thin like the last one. No, I come in a bit here, a bit steepish here, so I can feel what I've got. I've still got enough. But I want it thin enough. Will you stop? Go away. All those shavings in there. I've still got loads of them, look. There, look. Right, okay. 
I've still got a bit thinner. Right, that's the bit I've got to watch. I'm thinning up there. Right, so I'm rolling over so I'll get a back cut there. Down to there, then I can't go across the bottom, I've got to change it. But, we're in a very, very dodgy place. Because it's where that transition is from the side to the bottom. So either way, you've got to very, really pay attention that you don't catch the cut. You don't want it to be up that way and catch the bottom, but when you're that way, you don't want it to be up and catch the side. So you've got to get it in that, 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 that little sweet spot where it's got to be safe. There, totally safe. And we can come across. Like so. Right, we're nice and smooth. Right, okay, we've got a bit of crap in there which we get out. Right, okay, now what do we want to do on this front? Not a lot really, that fuel is going to sit in there. So maybe we'll just. I don't know, it's nice and smooth already because I've cleaned it up. So I don't know what I want. Right, um, okay. We're going back, fella. We're going to come back in with a 6 mil. Right, I think we're going to do one of these. We're going to put that in. We're going to do that. Right, okay, guys, I'm going to have to stop it and, and hold it out because we've got all bits in there. Oh, look at that. That looks lovely, doesn't it, in there? That is beautiful in there. I don't know whether I like that. Let's have a look when this goes on first. Oh, yeah, you get a ring here. Yeah, it does actually, doesn't it? Yeah. Right. There's a very, very slight, very, very slight tear just there on that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to do another little... It's got a tiny little tear there. Very little bit. What am I going to do? How am I going to get rid of that? Well, you're not going to sand it, that's for sure. No, I've got to come back in with this. Let's have a look and see if we've got it. I only got and bloody done it. I only got and bloody done it. Look at that. Right, okay. Let's, um, well, actually, I'm saying sand. Look, I mean, when am I going to sand? No, I don't sand it. Right, I'll rough it up with a bit of sandpaper. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's literally, there is no, that's carbide, guys. There is no sanding to be done. So I'm going to, I'm going to frighten it with a bit of sandpaper. Turn that off. 
I love that dusty track, bro. <laughs> right, okay. Just stand in place. Yeah, I'm just saying get sand in place after I've put some steamer on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Get steam on. Shavings just to be nib it. Right, stop it and over it, because otherwise I've got shavings in there. Oh, look at that already, guys. It's a shame it's going to have that potpourri crap put in it, you won't see it. <laughs> but. But we know it's there, don't we? Mm. We know it's been done inside. Okay. That's the main thing. Yeah, I must say that um, little six mil hollower. I can do a lot more than hollow. I'm not even going to say it's a six mil hollower. It's a six mil wood turn, carbide wood turning tool. Okay, that six mil carbide wood turning tool. Absolutely, because you can't say it's just a hollower, can you? Because it does so much more. It does so much more than just hollow. I mean, who would think you could roll beads at a bead like that with a six mil hollower? <laughs> and I mean, actually come and finish it and do it with a, 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 just a piece of bar like that. I don't even need a handle. I don't even need anything. There. There you go, guys. Well, they can do all sorts. Have you done a finial job before, haven't you? Yeah, I've done a finial with that. Lovely to do finials. Really is. Surprising what that can do, that little car. Right, there we go. Look at that. There we go. Look at that finish. That's quite nice, that. Right, now I've just got to turn it round, remount it, and sort out that bottom bit. It's probably going to have mark on it, yeah, because I was holding it for grip. So I'm going to do that bottom bit. Now, I want to know whether that's going to go over there. Right, it is... Yep, that's going to go over there, but the chance that might mark that. So, a little tip for you guys. Because it's not going to be perfect circle, see? Now, I could maybe, maybe, if I was... No, I can't, see? My next size jaws is that, and that's too, too big. So, I can't get it on set. So, a little tip for you. You get yourself... cycle inner tube okay that's what that is bike inner tube so that's just i've got one here look get you can get all different sizes you can get bigger ones if you want bigger ones a bit of bike inner tube okay that's all it is just cut yourself a piece off pop it over your jaws Like so, okay. Then I 
because we've got to open up quite a bit for this look see it's still going now i'm actually opening i'm gonna yeah i've got it now i've got it there right now it's held it's tight but i don't have to over tighten because it's rubber it grips it but it won't make no marks on it see perfectly running through it can't move it won't you'll never twist that on there that's beautiful but i have i've only i haven't even done the, the quarter i've just come up to just tight it's just touching that's enough because we're only turning that off we're not going to do nothing silly we're not going to go mad with our gouges we're not not hogging our think away we're just going to come in with a little quarter inch spindle gouge and we're going to tidy that just that edge up we're going to just roll it over into a little little um roll it over thing the dictionary will come out soon guys. that's the te technical <laughs> terms for that roll it over right okay here we go look see everything's nice and smooth and that that won't mark it what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in because all it is is where I I marked it with the chuck. That's all I'm taking off. And I'm just going to come round and roll it over to take it from a dovetail to a little little bead like that. That that suits me. I'm quite happy with that. Right. So that's so it's got that's it. It's a nice little bead on the bottom. I'm going in the toilet to do other things and look at the bottom of a potpourri pot, I can assure you. <laughs> I'm not going in there to examine my potpourri pot. <laughs> right, that ain't going to need sealing, that's just going to, I'm going to, got enough, enough sanding on there. There we go, do the do the do. That's all looking beautiful. So that's just another little tip guys, and I mean that um, that bit of inner tube, it's surprising how, how far that stretches that stuff. Where did you get it from? That kid down the road, <laughs> out no. of his bike. No. <laughs> when he goes out like our little sod, <laughs> he's going to get a surprise. <laughs> I'd give him go tearing up and down the bloody street on his bike. He won't be doing that for a while. <laughs> No, actually, guys, you're gonna, you're gonna annoy, I'm gonna annoy you now. I picked it up for a pound at the boot fair. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pound at the boot fair. So, like I said, you can get all different sizes. I don't, I don't need it any bigger than, than that. Right, that's it, guys. That's that done. Let's have a look at it and see how it actually turned out. Yeah. Oh, look at that. We just rolled it over, got rid of no tool marks. We've just done a, like a little little beady curve on it but that, that holds beautiful and that should not look at that it's come off no marks look at that absolutely perfect no marks around that no marks because we've got our batten see look you see how small this is look i can go right out to my full chuck side size and that protects it from those corners and you can see when you come back in Oh, there yeah, I just popped off. It just popped off for me. It reached and its max. That's, that's, no, it says I was coming in. It's just rolled yeah. off. That's the size of it. It's only a small inner tube like that, but you mm -hmm. can stretch them. But you can get bigger ones if you want bigger bigger inner tubes. Just just find one of those kids that's got one of the big mountain bikes. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait till he leaves it outside the sweet shop and rip his inner tube out of it. <laughs> it's, it's the look on their face when they come out to get on their bike. <laughs> No, as I say, you can buy all the different sizes, guys. And uh, like I said, I've got some, and I've got a, a nice thick one here. I see a, a thicker bit like that. I mean, you cut it to what size you want, but that that sort of gets a bit hard to put over those jaws. But this one is for these jaws, see, because these are fantastic for holding in little pots, but they're serrated, and these do well. I didn't have it the other day. I didn't have any inner tube here. I had it buried away somewhere and so I've got another one but that fits over perfect see and again I can then hold inside things to finish them off which would be brilliant very good so there you go that go don't go there that lives up there that one see that's a couple of tips now if you didn't if you just forwarded through the video you would have missed those
Yeah, don't fast forward through the videos because you miss it. You know me, I don't stop mm. bloody talking all <laughs> the way through. <laughs> right, anyway, guys, I suppose you want to see. Oh, Pop, look, look at, at that. Perfect fit. Oh, look at that. Don't that look? Hang on. Yeah. Right. Ah, there you go. See, that's probably why I was selling that. Those things are not all in the same place. It throws it slightly over. Yeah. Slightly over one side, look. That's not the bolt, obviously. It's not that. It wouldn't be nothing to do with my turning. That, no. <laughs> Don't even suggest. No, that one, that little little foot there is in slightly further than these ones, so it throws it off. But that's all right. It doesn't matter. You, 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 Just going to sit won't. on top anyway. You won't mm -hmm. notice that. All right? There. It's going to have potpourri all the way Lovely. up to the top anyway. That, that looks nice, that. I quite yeah. like that, actually. Mm-hmm. Look at that, your granny would be happy to receive that, wouldn't she? Keep <laughs> that for Christmas, send it to granny. Here you go, granny. Right, anyway, that's it. All nicely hollowed out, right under cut, guys. All there, nice, lovely. Right, remember, if you back cut down that way, don't go onto the bottom. And if you cut with your cutter up coming that way, don't come onto the side. <laughs> little do's and don'ts, little bits there. So, anyway, there you go. Another nice little potpourri pot. Gone all into potpourri at the moment, haven't I? That's it. There we go. House is right. going to be smelling of... Um... Potpourri. Potpourri. Right, okay. Thank you for <laughs> joining me, guys. And if you didn't, well, then you missed some tips there. Yep. And that's your fault, because I won't be repeating it. <sighs> there you go. Right, that's it. Anything else you want to say? Anything else you want to know? No? Any questions? No? Good. Right, okay. <laughs> I will see you on the next one guys and yes joe don't forget i'm going to say it again because i know you will forget so i'm going to say it again don't forget if you get the ripple jaws or sharp jaws whatever you want to call them but they are rip nexus ripple jaws don't forget to get the charmwood screws otherwise they won't fit on your sc4 chuck or your nova chuck okay and i'll catch you on the next one guys toodle pip bye guys